Hi guys, Ivan and Susan here again from Vloggers on the Loose. Believe it or not, you can still buy some um, reasonably cheap houses here in Perth, Western Australia uh, with a fairly decent deposit. We're going to show you some suburbs today that you can have a deposit of between 50 and 100,000 Australian dollars and still get yourself into a house in some average areas. But, you know, if that's all your budget can afford, why not go for it? So um, what I'll do is, or what we'll do is, Susan will film and I shall um, let you guys know these suburbs where you can still buy. And what are we going to, um, the first, there's um, five of them in the first section, so five suburbs, and some of them are units and some of them are houses, so I will tell you which are the units and which are the houses. So in these five suburbs here, this is um, from a group called Hot Spotting, by the way, and a new Hot Spotting report highlighted five suburbs in Perth where you can buy property with a $50,000 deposit and a 90% loan to value ratio. Or, or you can go a bit higher with your deposit, get yourself 100,000 bucks together and get an 80% loan. So this is the first five suburbs. The first one is Midland and uh, these are houses in Midland guys. So the population over there in Midland is 5,972 people and uh, the median house price over there is only 478,000 Australian dollars. Now Midland pops up a lot. I've talked about Midland a lot. I think it's okay. It's only 19 kilometres from the Perth CBD. So guys, the next suburb is Callista. And this is a house, houses. And the population out there is 1,992 residents. Median house price over there is only 470 um, thousand Australian dollars. Callista is 39 kilometers south of the Perth CBD. And the next suburb, is Belmont and, and we're talking about units in Belmont and the population out there is 6,785. The median unit price over there is 400,000 Australian dollars. Not bad out there in Belmont, close to a lot of things. Fairly close to the city also. Um, nine kilometers from the Perth CBD and um, like I said, the median unit price out there is 400,000 Australian dollars. The next one's a pretty good suburb. Next one's also units and the suburbs East Perth. Population 10,596. I didn't realize there's so many people out there, but there are a lot of units and apartments out there. And the median unit price over there in East Perth, guys, is 495,000 Australian dollars. Two kilometers from the Perth CBD. As we walk along this, um, we're at uh, Hillary's Boat Harbour, by the way, Sorrento Key. And a uh, beautiful day over here in Perth. A uh, bit of a breeze blowing, about 20, 20 degrees at the moment. Um, the next one is also a unit, unit skies, and the next one's Victoria Park. And there's 8,777 people over there in Victoria Park and the median unit price is 430,000 Australian dollars. Uh, Vic Park as we call it here in Perth is five kilometers from the Perth CBD. So you've got you've got a few suburbs here that are very close to the Perth CBD for reasonably prices, reasonable prices if you want to buy a unit. So the hot spotting, that's the end of of that one where you can buy a unit or a house with a fifty thousand dollar deposit or a hundred thousand deposit depending on um, how you want to structure your loan and if you've got that amount of money so the next one is the hot spotting report also highlighted five um, suburbs in perth where you can buy a property with a hundred thousand dollars deposit and a ninety percent loan to value ratio and these suburbs are 
um, first suburb is um, Forest Field. And these are all houses, by the way. Um, so the first suburb is Forest Field, 12,690 residents out there in, in Forest Field. And um, the median house price over there is 635,000 Australian dollars. And um, Forest Field's 22 kilometres. Um, southeast from the Perth CBD. The next one is Osborne Park. And there's only 4,000, I thought there'd be more people out there. There's only 4,120, I guess there a lot of it in Aussie Park, as we call it here in Perth, is industrial and commercial. Um, so the next, so um, Osborne Park's got 4,120 residents out there. The median house price over there is 696 thousand Australian dollars and Aussie Park's reasonably close to the Perth CBD guys only seven kilometers from the Perth CBD it's a northern suburb um, the next one is St James and um, 4,905 residents out there what do you think of this little boat harbour uh, at Hillary's a lot of boats in there guys a hell of a lot of boats um, St James the median house price over there is 707,000 Australian dollars. St James is only 8.5 kilometres from the Perth CBD. The next one is East Victoria Park. There's quite a few people out there. 10,071 residents out there. All these people are just sitting outside. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Is this a smoker's corner? I'm not sure. But there's benches out here. It's pretty warm out here. So they'll be copying a lot of sun. Um, East Victoria Park, 10,071 residents out there. The median house price over there is 880,000 Australian dollars. And um, East Victoria Park's only 7.8 kilometres from the Perth CBD, guys. So um, not bad, pretty close to the Perth CBD. Hey, look at the railing over here. No, it doesn't look too safe. A little kid can easily fall through there. That's just a wire. Not good at all, in my opinion. And anyway, that's the way they've done it. If you fall through there, you're in the in the water, and you've got a good chance of drowning if you can't swim. Um, the next suburb is a suburb that I found a bit unusual, but it's because it's quite high up there with the median house price. But you do need a hundred thousand bucks as a deposit. And um, it's got a population of 8,730. The suburb is um, Card Cardinia. And there's um, kids all fishing along here. Oh, and I just spoke to a guy before and asked if he caught much. He said he caught a whole lot of baby fish the size of a human hand. So it wasn't, very, it wasn't a very good day for him. So Cardinia, guys. Um, median house price over there, it's quite up there, 906,000 Australian dollars. And Cardinia is 17.5 kilometres from the Perth CBD. So, just a bit of a footnote here. Hot Spotting's Tim Graham said, with a $100,000 deposit, five years ago you could have bought in the top echelon of Perth suburbs. But now you have to go a lot further out if you're looking at an 80% loan to value ratio, he said. Hotspotting's report says that while the broader Perth market was expected to grow, some suburbs have peaked. The message for Perth for the Perth market is to proceed with care. Too many buyers have been buying anything they can find without the usual checks and balances and often above the asking price the hot spotting report said some will regret paying over the odds prices for an ordinary piece of real estate at the peak of a boom market which is true i have said that a few times in our videos that 
just be careful. Don't um, go out there and try and overbid someone by 100,000 bucks because you will regret it in the end. It always happens here in Perth. Guys, so what did you think of that video? This is quite a quiet little spot here. I don't know if we're going to wrap it up here. We might. Uh, let us know uh, what you thought of that video. We might just wrap it up here in, in front of a real estate. <laughs> Ironically, right in front of a real estate company over here. Um, oh, it's a boat, sorry. A boat, a boat company. Uh, we might just wrap it up over here, guys. Um, let us know what you thought of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. We will see you in the next one.